We're now ready to put the finishing touches on our little snowman by changing the color of each individual letter. So with creative drawings, we're hoping we're helping you get ready for the holidays. Remember, creative drawings is where embroidery magic begins. We're now ready to select our letters. If you click on the letters, making sure that you have that rectangular selection tool highlighted. Once you click on that, you'll notice the letters are all grouped together. What we want to do is ungroup them or break them apart. So with those letters highlighted, right click and a menu comes up and you will see an area that says break apart. Please click on break apart. Now each letter is its own individual piece. So see that when I click on each letter it's its own individual entity. So let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom in a little bit to the Let It Snow. And I'm going to start to change colors by starting with the letter L. If you look on, on your thread palette, the bottom row are the colors that are already in your design. So let's start by choosing one of those colors for the letter L. You want to choose the bottom right hand corner because that will give you your fill area. So cl left click on the bottom right corner of your green thread color box and the letter L has changed to the color green. It's really very simple. So let's choose the letter E and I'm going to choose the kind of brownish orange color. It's called brown light. So I'm going to left click on the bottom right corner and my letter E now has changed colors. For the letter T, let's add a color to our design. The top row are threads that are available to you but not yet in your design. Remember, we took away the blue color. Let's go ahead and put it back. So I'm going to choose that bright royal blue and I'm going to left click on the bottom right corner of that thread color box. Notice it's now down in the threads used, the threads that are actually in the uh, design, it's now down in that row. So let's go ahead and choose the letter I, choose a new color. Don't forget to do the dot of the I. And then I'm just gonna, going to continue with my colors. So choose the different, um, different letters add different colors. It's completely up to you what order you choose them in. And you're always clicking on that bottom right hand area. And there we go. We've added colors to each letter. We've made each letter its own color and uh, really made our design awfully fun. So let's zoom out just a little bit so we can see the whole design. So it is really fast and easy to change those colors. All you have to remember is to break it apart. Don't forget now, you want to go up to the word file and go to save as and when you save as, you want to first save as the draw file format. So go ahead and name him Snowman and save as the draw file format. Once you've saved that as the draw file format, that means you can bring it back in easily and work with it and change it around. After you have the design the way you want it, then you go in and choose whatever sewing machine manufacturer you're going to be using to stitch out. So whether it be Janome, whether it be Who's Front of Viking, whether it be Singer, whether it be Brother, Bernina, Baby Lock, Faf, anything that you are, choose the manufacturer that you're using. So go ahead and, and do that as well. So that's it. We hope you've enjoyed making your snowman, adding some letters, and getting ready for the holidays here with us at Creative Drawings, where embroidery magic begins.